morning everyone it's another awesome day today this video is going to be uh, a little bit different just going to be a little diy do-it-yourself video on hydraulic hoses now if you've watched some of my previous videos i've blown out a couple hydraulic lines one on the michigan loader which they want six six hundred dollars to repair for something that's only like five feet long crazy price and then i did one on the uh, forklift just blew out which i have here that i'm going to repair because i can't afford those prices now what i'm about to show you is stuff that it's known out there already but surprisingly i didn't really know about this because normally before having a hydraulic hose built and made for you wasn't a bad price now it's much more expensive so one of the lines that I've got here that uh, came off the forklift, it, uh, it's old and it failed. So I did look at it carefully and apparently the military put on what you see separated here are what's field replaceable hydraulic fittings for the ends. A lot of different names, reusable, field install installed fittings there's few names for them but i am going to make it now i sort of lucked out on this because i started looking at my all of my equipment and i found that it seems like a lot of the older equipment had reusable fittings and if you go online and just try to buy the reusable fittings they're sort of pricey they they used to be pretty cheap apparently but I don't need the fittings. I've got them here. So I simply need to remove the fitting off of the ends of both uh, of both ends. Now, I did this uh, before, uh, a couple days ago, trying to experiment and take it off, and it was pretty easy. So I'm going to take this one off and show you how to do that, and I will show you how to put it together. And... I was pretty lucky that, guess what I found here at Sparks Motors? A brand new piece of 3,500 PSI hydraulic line they had on a spool that we haven't ever used. Uh, I think at some point they did, maybe years ago, but it's the only size they have here and it happens to be the one size that works on my one short piece of hydraulic uh, line right here so we have all the parts all ready to put it together providing the hose that i've got here will fit so let's start working on this now it's pretty straightforward what to do i like using a vice vice works pretty good i'll rotate that a little bit They separate into two pieces. You've got the one end, which goes on the inside and the outside piece. Oh. Let me just break it free. And usually it wants to just unscrew its way out because of the threads on the metal. Now this was the easiest part. I didn't have any issues taking this off. So, this is what you get. This is the piece here that uh, once you push it in, it, ex it puts pressure and crimps it up against the outer piece. So, really simple. Now this part, is if things weren't getting harder, my hose, hydraulic hose here, which was in good shape, or looked like it was in good shape, it's just breaking apart on me. So it's gonna make it a little bit harder to get out of here. So I'm gonna to have to crimp this thing right up to there and try to twist it off. Now it should thread off, but I've noticed that when they get really old, I've had to pull them off. That's what I did on that one right there. Sometimes you have to like pry on it but my hydraulic line is, there we go. I do some prying. 
and that gives you this piece right here so it's got bits of the old hose in there you need to, I'll need to clean this thing out we'll clean it out and I'll be right back okay well I'm gonna get a close-up here here's the old hydraulic hose you can see the threads right there how it screwed in so this is really a pretty simple straightforward uh, uh, design on the fittings I am really surprised that uh, when I was down at the uh, hydraulic uh, stores they didn't seem to really provide them I don't know what the reason is I mean you can sell the ends and sell the hose I did talk with one guy and uh, he said that uh, from now on, if I've got the ends, they will look to find hose for me. So that's an up thing because the hose that I've got to make or repair for the Michigan loader, it's a much bigger diameter. I mean, it's big. So it'll be interesting to see how that one comes apart. Uh, if there's any issues, if it's not straightforward like this one, I'll put another DIY video up on how to fix them if they're bigger. But if it's the same, I just won't bother. So what I got to do now is I'm just got to make sure my uh, hose lengths are the, are the same. Uh, but actually, before I even do that, I can put, no, I got to measure it first. I will cut my one piece and then uh, see how easy it is to get this to fit on the hose. Uh, because there is specific hoses that it's supposed to work with, and it would be really easy to get a hose that uh, is just the wrong, not quite right, and then you just, you'd never get it on right. All right, let's get that done. You want to make sure you get a nice good clean end cut on it so i just use the my uh rigid uh, side grinder with a cutting disc on it so i'm actually thinking that i might put if it's difficult i might end up putting some i can't tell if it's starting to see. Can't tell if I'm going in or not. I'm wondering if I might have to bevel the end a little bit. Put a uh, grinding pad on it. Okay, when I cut it, it sort of flares out a little bit at the end. So I just really carefully on this side, I uh, used my uh, little pad grinder, just carefully removed it. It seems like it's starting to, uh, to seat in there, but it's only in like a quarter inch, and I've got like another three quarter of an inch to screw in so uh, I'm gonna try pushing as I'm screwing for the beginning 
And then once I know I've got good uh, bite to it, then I will use the wrench. But I think I still need to just push in really good. This might be a lot harder to do or easier on the bigger hydraulic lines. Hmm. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. grips. Well, I think it's grab grabbing. <sighs> was not easy it didn't want to really thread without putting some uh, downward force pushing it to try to screw it on to the hydraulic uh, hose there so it was hard with the vice being up here if the vice had been on the ground so I could just lean it just let rest of my weight on it it wouldn't have been nearly so hard but with it up here it was sort of uh, uh, hard for me to push down on it I had to balance um would be sort of interesting to think about making like a uh like a little jig to hold hydraulic hoses with a little porta power ram so i could put like about 100 psi of uh, uh force just pushing it onto the hose as i'm like turning it with a crescent wrench or whatever but without that the vice grips works really good it just holds while i'm uh, pushing down so i've got it all the way in all the way uh right to where it needs to be I'm thinking I might want to try some sort of a lubrication for this, but I don't want to do anything that might, you know, damage the hose or cause that. So I think I am going to try some tire mounting compound. See if it makes this process easier. All right, so that is uh, Murphy's tire uh, and tube mounting compound for doing your tires. Looks like gelled uh, honey. Uh, this stuff is to make your rims and the tires slippery so you can put them on. Uh, it's just basically a soap, really gooey. I'm wondering if that's going to help because uh, I'm thinking that when I screw on the hydraulic hose that there's a lot of like rubber resistance and friction that maybe a little bit of this soap on the threads and uh, will allow it to uh, screw on much easier. Uh, and doing that without and this stuff just you know evaporates eventually disappears and works its way out so let's uh, see how that works now 
we have to put in the next piece, which is this right here. And that just screws right down. So I'm gonna put this in here and put a little bit of the uh, tire mounting compound. And let's see how easy it is to get this to in. Once this is in, we're good. Too much on it. Don't want too much on it. Just enough to hopefully make it go on easier. Well, it started pretty easily, but it is like starting to pass that one point. It's getting hard. Oh, okay, that's... Uh, uh. All right, we have it in. Seem to be pretty easy. I look between the two. Uh, hydraulic hoses in the center actually looks smaller on this than the original. I'm pretty sure we're going to be good. That went on really easy that time. The, the center one rides on the threads that's in the uh the outer so with that being held it's all in place so i think we got one end done so i will do the other end and i will try it with the tire mounting compound and let you know if it was easier I decided to try like this with the vise in the air. Well, with me on top of the vise, which is in the air. I'm able to push down better when I turn. Put a lot more force. And I don't know if it's the tire mounting compound, but I've just started and I'm all, and it's going on really well. It's going really easy. Well, that's it. I did it. The second one went on a lot easier. I don't know if it's because of me uh, basically standing up on top of the table and pushing down, or that was the Murphy's tire compound, but I got the ends on. Uh, they seem to be on pretty good. Uh, we'll try yanking on it here to see if uh, uh, they come off, but uh, if not, I think we're good. All right, I. Pulled on them, did some stuff. They seem to be holding together. The final test would be putting on the machine to see how long they last. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, I hope I uh, uh, could help anybody else that was doing hydraulic lines. Maybe this can save you a few bucks. Uh, if you have any uh, comments on an easier way to do it, let me know. You can put it in the comments below. Thanks anyone, anyways, and please subscribe. Please hit the like button and there's always a notifications. So I'll see you on the next video.